Let me say good evening to everybody. You know, it, uh, it seems as though uh, yesterday never ended and uh, we're, we're still operating on Wednesday. But let me just say uh, how delighted I am to be working uh, with all of the chairs and with the Urban League and uh, Judson and the whole crew. Um, and I know that uh, it, the next year will be the 50th anniversary. So that's, uh, that's a milestone in and of itself. And then uh, uh, and Judson and the Urban League, y'all have raised the, uh, I think you've raised the goal uh, up to a, a million dollars. You know, yeah. You know, certainly that, that, that is achievable. I think we've all, this is, you know, we live in a can-do city with a can-do spirit. And quite frankly, we've always set goals and objectives very, very high. And the, the need is there and, the, and the, uh, the mission and the purpose of the Urban League um, are certainly consistent uh, with that of the city of Houston. And look, we just need to go higher and higher. We're in the midst of a recovery from Hurricane Harvey. Who would have thought 27 trillion gallons of water would have fallen on us on the region? And as I told some people uh, early in the week, even though the water is gone, the need is still very much there. The damage is literally inside people's homes. Uh, a lot of people, thousands, would have to be rebuilt. Uh, there are a lot of things that would be taking place. Uh, workforce skills, workforce development, all of those things are going to be critically impor important. Um, and we, ha we need organizations like the Urban League to help the city in rebuilding the city to make us uh, much more resilient than what we have been. And, 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 and out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw, did I see Marvin Odom? There's Marvin. Mar Marvin Odom, uh, for some of you who may not know, uh, was formerly head of Shell. And then uh, uh, not too long ago, I asked Marvin if he would head the city of Houston's recovery effort, uh, which he agreed. And I appreciate the fact that he has agreed and he's off and running. Uh, with that and doing an excellent job already. So do get a chance, for those who don't know, get a chance to meet Marvin, Marvin Odom uh, as he moves forward to help the city uh, do, to, to rebuild. What I said to him and, uh, and is that we just want, don't want to do things the same old way. We want to be transformational in what we do. And this is an opportunity when uh, literally uh, billions of dollars will be flowing into the city uh, to do some things that will be impactful uh, and not just to put things in place and then we know another storm will come and another storm will come and we have to go through this all over again. Uh, the Urban League can certainly play a vital part in, in that mission and that goal in helping to design that blueprint. Uh, but it also means that organizations like the Urban League will need the resources in order to do those impactful things. And so, uh, you know, the, the, the gala is what in June and uh, I know uh, uh, things are already happening, but do count me in to be a part, not just as an honorary figure, you know. I never quite un understood what honorary means, you know. I don't know what honorary means, you know. You certainly didn't ask me to do it because of my looks, so I know that's not the reason. But, uh, but I, I, I am excited to be a part uh, of this effort, working with this team and with all of you to have a very successful 50th anniversary. So thank you very much for including me. Thank you. I would be remiss if I didn't say, now, nah, and uh, just act like we in church, just act like we in church, okay? Now, uh, there is an election going on. You know, how many are registered to vote in this room? How many of y'all are registered to vote? Okay, and you know, be honest, we're still in church. You know, <laughs> how many of you have, have yet to vote? Yet to vote? Okay, see, I, I see a number of hands. Now, let me just say, as the pastor would say, shame on you. <laughs> Come on, yeah, come on now. You know, city's been facing pensions for 17 years, and we have the opportunity now to finish that out. You have to vote. You, you just literally have to do that. Proposition A, and then we still need the, to, to, the lights for the city still need to come on. The buses still need to run on time. Those public improvement bonds, uh, B through E, critically important. And you don't want to wait on election day because Hurricane Harvey has changed many of the polling places. So now you can vote early any place. And so polls open till seven tonight, polls open till seven tomorrow night, after the parade or before the parade. <laughs> you know, so do that. And then tomorrow we are expecting a tremendous crowd uh, tomorrow uh, at two o'clock downtown to say thank you to the Astros who made us proud. But quite frankly, 
just to say thank you to one another because it demonstrates uh, the spirit and the strength of this particular city. So thank you so very much.